Hey, I'm Sam from Barn2, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to use the WooCommerce Lead Time plugin from Barn2 to inform customers about lead times for custom, made to order, or non stock products. Perhaps you sell handmade items, print custom t shirt designs, or sell items which are not normally in your inventory. With clear lead time information, customers aren't left confused wondering how long it'll take before their product arrives in stock or is ready to ship. This leaves them fully informed and better able to decide whether or not they want to place an order. You can display WooCommerce lead times anywhere on your site, from the shopping pages all the way to the cart, checkout, and emails. These processing times can be set globally or individually by category, product, or variation. And the time periods are either set a static amount, for example, 12 weeks, or they can dynamically update based on a calendar date that you set. So let's see how it's all set up on the back end. First, we need to install and activate the plugin. Check the description for a link to the plugin, and after purchasing, you can download the zip file from the checkout confirmation page, your email receipt, or by logging into your account on barn2.com. Next, log into your WordPress site and navigate to Plugins, Add New. Then we'll click the Upload Plugin button choose the zip file, or drop it here. Click Open, and finally click Install. Now, once installed, I'd like you to click here on the Setup Wizard and continue past the little warning box. Now, you'll be prompted to enter your license key. You can find it in your receipt email or by logging into your account on our website. Now we need to select where to show our product lead times. To give customers the most amount of information, I'd suggest showing them everywhere. Then choose a text color. Red is good for getting the attention of the shopper, but you may want something that matches your branding too. Step three is for stock statuses. So for example, if you only tick on back order and leave the other stock statuses unchecked, then lead times will only display for products with a back order stock status. Depending on your products, you'll need at least one or more of these to be checked. In step four, we're setting up the global lead time, and it begins with the prefix text. That is, the text customers will see before the lead time number. You can keep it simple or write something more personal, like handmade item, estimated shipping in. For the global lead time format, choose static if you always have a set amount of time before items are ready for shipping. And remember that you can customize individual categories or products later on. Or choose dynamic for lead times based on a calendar date in the future, such as the arrival of new stock from your supplier. Then choose the units for time as either days or weeks. So for now, I'm going to choose static and days. And that's it for the setup wizard, but we're not quite done yet. Let's proceed to the settings page for some final tweaks. On a side note, anytime you need to find the settings page, you can go to WooCommerce settings and find products on the top and choose the lead time tab here. Or if you're on the plugins page, find the plugin name, WooCommerce lead time, and click this settings button beneath the name. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down so we can see all the settings here. And first, make sure that all these boxes were checked as we did in the setup wizard, so we can see the information and how it will look across all areas of our store. Then find this box here, lead time per stock status, and uncheck this for now. We'll come back to that later. And now we can set our global static lead time at the moment in days. So for now, I have it set at five days, but I can change that to whatever I like for example, 10 days. Okay, let's save those changes and take a look at our store page. Now, when we take a look at our products, we can see that each of them has a new little note that's been added, handmade item, estimated shipping in 10 days. Once again, we can change this text to something simpler like lead time, or we can make it more specific for our store or even the products or categories within our store. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. If I add an item to my basket and view that, I can also see the same note is here on the details. And if I proceed to checkout, you can still see the note here in the order details. 
So that's the static lead time option. Now let's go back and add some dynamic lead time options to some products. Start by checking this box, display a different lead time depending on the product stock status. And for in stock products, we're going to leave these fields empty because they don't have any lead time if they're already in stock. For out of stock products, we can set a static global lead time. And I prefer to have this on 14 days because that's how long it normally takes to restock my items. And for the back order items, let's create an example of a dynamic format. So we're going to choose dynamic from this dropdown and we'll choose a date somewhere in the future so we can see how that will work. Now let's save those changes. And I recommend going to products, all products, and setting up a few test items on back order or out of stock so that you can see how the changes look on your store page. Now, if we go back to the shop, we can see that this item, which I set on back order, will be available in one month and one day based on the date that I selected. And additionally, this belt, which I set to out of stock, will have a lead time of 14 days displayed. And this will apply to all of your out of stock or back order items based on how you set them up in the back end. Finally, let's see how we can edit a category or product lead time individually. First, go to products and categories and choose one to edit. So this category, health and fitness, I'm going to scroll down and edit the lead time options here. Now, the settings are exactly the same as we saw on the main settings page, but it will apply only to this category. If you need to edit a specific product, go to all products and choose one to edit. Scroll down to the product data and this applies for simple products. Click on the inventory and you can edit the lead time here just like before. And finally, if we have a variable product, the only difference is we're going to come down to the variations tab and we're going to choose a variation to edit. And here's where we can edit the lead time for each of those. And once you've edited this variation, you'll want to make sure you edit the second variation as well. Make sure to test and see that the settings are working perfectly for your store. And to learn more and purchase the plugin, you can check the links in the description of this video or head over to barn2.com and search for the lead time plugin. If you're selling made to order items, which require flexible pricing, I'd like to recommend you also check out our WooCommerce product options plugin, which can handle all sorts of unique pricing challenges. Watch this video next to see how its pricing calculator works. And thanks for watching.